I am Faisal Nawab and I'm a founding class member here in KAUST 10 years ago. I joined the Networks Lab um, that is led by Basim Shahada. He worked on very exciting topics about um, communication, coordination, technology, sensors, Internet of Things. All these topics are going to be the building blocks of changing the future of technology, of integrating everything that is in our lives with technology so we can get insights, we can have actions according to these insights. I didn't feel that I was working as part of a lab. I felt that I was working with a friend and that he's guiding me one step at a time. I took it for granted then. I didn't know how any other way it could happen. But reflecting back, having these interactions, being able to meet him more than once a day and getting feedback on every small detail about my writing, about my research, about my approach, all these things really shaped my research style and really set me far ahead from everyone else. Um, at the time, I was fascinated by the rapid changes in technology. I loved reading science fiction books. I loved trying to imagine what's going to happen in 10 years and 50 years and thinking about all the possibilities. When I started my PhD after graduating from Kaus, I felt that I'm already ahead of many other students. And the reason for this is this unique opportunity that I had from both KAUST as an institution, but also from working with Basim, who really gave his all to his students. The type of work that I did while I was in the networking lab with Basim is this problem of if I have a lot of nodes, computing nodes, sensors, Internet of Things devices that are spread all over a large area, whether it's a campus, whether it's a city or a factory. A daunting problem that faced researchers is how do you make all these different devices coordinate with each other? And one blocking um, um, or one problem facing the practitioners and researchers for this type of coordination is that these sensor nodes, these IoT devices, cannot even effectively communicate with each other because there is so many of them. So what we've built is new communication and coordination protocols that would enable these different devices to effectively and efficiently coordinate and send information to each other. And I started from this, and I found that this is really a very nice building block for really getting this to the next step. And when I started looking for different PhD programs, I remember, I remember a, an advice that Basim told me at the time. At the time, cloud computing was just starting. I didn't know what cloud computing was. And he told me cloud computing is going to be the next big thing. And I trusted his advice. By that time, he gave me very good advice about research, but also about what restaurants to eat in, about what gift I would give my spouse. So I know that I should trust him on that too. I looked for a program. I only was admitted to one program that would have me work on cloud computing because I had a networking background and only the networking people wanted to hire me. But I rejected all the 10 other offers from networking labs and I went to the cloud computing offer. And this turned out to be, I think, the one of the biggest decisions that got me to where I am right now. I worked on the actual cutting edge topics in computing at that time. This what made me be able to interact with the leaders of technology. This what enables me to do some work that is both impactful, but also foundational to the future of computing. I continue to try to take Basim's advice and I try to reflect and be an advisor now as my role as an assistant professor at the University of California. I, I try to take 
his role model and his um, um, advice and his passion for advising students, for teaching, and try to have that to my students as well.